Hey, good morning, y'all. Um, so, I have a story time for y'all. If you guys don't know, I'm an ER nurse, okay? So, let me preface saying this. I'm an ER nurse, and I have sickle cell disease, okay? Let's just say that. Last night, um, I had a patient that also had sickle cell disease. Ended up being my patient in the ER. Um, <clears throat> patient was 10 out of 10 out of pain, excruciating. Doctor says, well, we're going to wait for the labs to get give medication. I tell the patient, and she says, I can't wait that long. She says, I'm really, really in pain. And I go to the doctor. I says, patient so, is really in pain and in distress. It's crying. It's just really awful. Give her Tylenol. I said, sir, she has sickle cell disease. Give her Tylenol. Yes, sir. <clears throat> so, the labs come back. Hemoglobin is extremely low. Retake. Everything is pointing that this patient is in sickle cell crisis. I told the doctor, can we give, since the labs come back, can we give another uh, medication? No. I'm not, I'm not giving her any opioids. She can wait. She can wait for what? Well, she's going to be admitting if the, the doctor wants to do what he can. I'm not giving her opioids. I said, she's in extreme pain, sir. No, she's, it's just probably all in her head. Excuse me? Y'all, I could have flipped on that doctor right then and there. I said, let me take you to the side real quick. Because I am one of those nurses that I do that with my doctors, okay? So I took the doctor to the side and I says, what makes you think that's all in her head? This patient has sickle cell disease. Well, you know, they them patients that have that, they really sometimes be abusing opioid medications. Okay, sir. I says, so... What if I told you I have sickle cell disease? And he says, oh, you do? And I said, yes, sir, I do. And your comment was very offensive. I says, she is in there crying. You can see that she's in distress. You can tell by the labs now that she's in a crisis. She's in pain. Well, I'm just going to give her Tylenol. I think that's best. Okay. So he puts the admitting order. I call the admitting doctor right then and there and says, hey, can I have a PRN dose? Gives it to me with no problem. No problem! But yet an ER doctor would only give Tylenol to someone with chronic pain. We have to do better.